Oakland Unified teachers, parents, and families rallied outside La Escalita High uh, School Elementary School ahead of today's school board meeting. They claim that the district is retaliating against educators and community members who protest school closures and policies. Ground Force Taylor Pisaki has the details. This attack is the ultimate trespassing on our education system. Outraged, upset, and disappointed Oakland Unified families and teachers are protesting recent decisions by the school district. Angry uh, at the continuing, you know, recklessness of this school district that's supposed to be defending public schools, that's supposed to be all about public education, that has been consistently um, acting to privatize public schools, closing them, you know, under resourcing them, under supporting them, and then closing them, finding excuses to close them, and then turn it over to private interest. Craig Gordon is an Oakland Education Association representative and a longtime educator in the city. However, as of Monday, he's now a former substitute teacher. He says he was wrongfully fired out of retaliation after he joined protesters occupying Parker Elementary on Thursday who want to keep the school open. This is video from that day when security officers tried to get them out. What are you doing? What are you they were very aggressive and very violent towards uh, the people who were in there. Parker Elementary is one of dozens of schools that Oakland Unified plans to close or merge over the next two years. Many people have joined the fight to keep their doors open, saying the closures will negatively impact students of color. The district should be, you know, ashamed of what it is doing. Um, to attack the rights of students and families in the city instead of protecting them. The group is now calling for school district leaders to stop its retaliation and immediately reverse the decision to terminate teachers who've spoken out against the closures. We're not going to back down and we're not going to let them intimidate us and uh, you know try to pick us off one by one uh, or be deterred by the violence that we saw last week um, or threats of you know firing. We reached out to OUSD for a response to these claims, but haven't heard back yet. I'm Taylor Bisaki reporting.